Hey, what's up, everybody? This uh, Razorback Audio again. My name's Nick. Uh, if you watch part one, uh, chapter one, this is going to be chapter two. Uh, got the pods finished. Got the uh, ported section of the fourth order band pass box. Got it fully finished. Just going to show you a little bit about what's going on today. Uh, see what you think. All right. We've got this is just one of the pods. Uh, like I said, I know it looks like it's sitting up a little bit high, but it's it's not going to be that high. Uh, it's going to probably be about two or three inches above above the rear deck. Um, but that's how it's going to sit, and that's how it'll be firing. I'll let you look at it through the back glass. Uh, that's what we'll be working with. Something, something just like that. Get them painted, paint them a tan color. Okay, here is the port. Let me show it to you from the back. Okay, a bunch of wires there. All right, there's the blow through, guys. That is a 10 by 10 cutout blow through. Uh, you know, there it is. Got a little bit more trimming to do on it. Then it'll be finished up. Uh, let me get a view of it from the. Uh, let me get a view of it from the front seat for you. All right, there it is, guys. So that'll just all. That'll just be a square port. Uh, port will come out just about flush with those metal brackets that you see, and it'll just fit snug up against the back seat. And I'll let you guys get a look at that back seat here in just a second. Uh, ah, here it is. All right, so there's the rear deck. Um, what we'll do, what I'm planning on doing, is once we get the pods fitted inside of there, we'll take this carpet, fold this carpet back, staple it, and then we're gonna we're gonna rewrap this uh, back deck in a tan colored vinyl. Uh, I'm just going to wrap it right over the carpet give it a good plush feel you know kind of soft instead of a hard feel so that'll be good. Alright here's the back seat here's the back seat as you can see uh, the guy that did the, uh, the sixth order series tune for me he did this I'm just going to modify it a little bit. That's uh, JAT, J-A-T, 4011. If you want to check out his channel too, he's in the Birmingham area. Okay, so there is the armrest. Let me get that folded down for you. There you go. Armrest is down. View of it from the front. And that's what we got. So we'll, run, we'll, we'll, we'll button, we'll get a 10 by 10 port to seat right here, right here. It'll actually hit the top around right here and then all the way down to the bottom. And that'll just be just a straight blow through. Uh, you know, it's 100 square inches of port area. Uh, it's probably gonna be about 16 inches long. That's gonna give us a 42 hertz tuning, which once it gets in the car, uh, with that car cabin being so big, it's, it's going to punish the lows. I can tell you that already. I mean, I know it's going to be tuned at 42, but I mean, probably at around 29 or 30 hertz. I mean, it's just going to be bone crushing. Let me. I got the uh, the ported section of the box finished up. Let me get in here and show you guys a picture of that. There's Kingston, Sebastian, McCabe right there. All right, here it is, guys. Got the uh, that's the ported the ported section of the uh, fourth order. It's uh, 19 inches deep, 34 inches wide, 17 inches tall. And if you can see, each screw is countersunk. So what you'll do is you'll take wood filler and fill that in. Countersunk, we're countersunk all the way down, 
on both sides. Uh, got, no, you can't really see that, but you can see that. We got Gorilla Glue, guys. Got Gorilla Glue down the seams. There's actually about two or three layers of uh, what I, well, the way I do it, I'll take the Gorilla Glue and I'll rub a layer on there with my finger. I'll let that tack up a little bit. Then I'll put another layer on there and I let it stick up just a little bit and let it tack up a little bit. Okay, then I'll squeeze my final layer and while it's still wet, I'll place my top and my bottom boards on there. That's how I put my MDF together. Uh, that way you got plenty of glue in there uh, and you don't have to worry about any kind of leaks or anything. Uh, I'm going to go behind myself with that Gorilla Glue on those inside seams. I'm going to resin the entire box, uh, but especially on the seams, I'm going to go ahead and put put a put a bead of uh, probably the silicone or uh, maybe a some type of caulking. I'm not, I'm not sure yet, but definitely in all the corners there'll be plenty of resin, plenty of caulk. Make sure we got an airtight seal. But uh. I'm going to try and get this thing finished up within the next couple of weeks. Get finished up with the, uh, get finished up with the port. Uh, finish up this rear deck. Finish these pods up. Get them sanded down. Get some Bondo on them. Sand them down again. Then we'll be ready for paint. Like, as you can see, you know, that's what we're looking like right now. And this right here is actually what we'll, this is what we'll look like. You know, it's going to be sitting in that rear deck, but it's not going to be sitting flat. It's going to have about a, about a, probably about a, say about a 60 degree angle on it. Or a little bit more than, you know, a little bit more maybe. But that's what I got right now. This was chapter two. Uh, stay tuned for chapter three. Thanks.